day one Wilson and girlfriend here. Today I'm going to talk about pressure, <laughs> just a little bit. Okay, I just want to, I want to get you guys thinking about the right way to approach this. You have a maximum amount of body weight that you can put down in a given area at any given time. So the problem is that most people don't know how to put the pressure down. Okay, they don't really understand how to use their body. They don't know how to take weight off something else and then put it on the girlfriend. Okay, so. I'm going to kind of demonstrate this right here. Okay, first my knees are going to be on the mat, my elbows are on the mat, I'll, eat, I'll club her head, I don't care. Okay, whatever's going on. She's like a standard side control. Okay, now the first thing you're going to do when you want to learn how to get more pressure to get heavier, okay, you're going to learn how to take your hands off the mat. You're going to retract your shoulders. Okay, and you're going to let that force go into her chest. She's going to take big ass deep breaths or she's going to die. Okay, don't laugh, you're gonna die. So, I take my weight off, that's part one. Now you see, my, I'm on my knees, that means the entire lower half of my body, the weight is on my knees right now and not on her. So I'm gonna get on my toes next. I get on my toes, okay? Now the weight is kinda distributed out. Okay, she's starting to take a deep ass breath, for real. <laughs> <laughs> Pressure, guys, all right? So look, here's the trick. Okay, this is a maximum amount of pressure you can put just with body weight right now, kind of. But here's the thing, my weight's still down by my legs. I have to actually take my back, okay? And what you want to do is take that force that's spread out over your entire chest and direct it to one point. Okay, wherever that point is you need it to be. Sometimes it's going to be her hip, okay? It means my weight comes off my chest and goes onto her hip. What that means is I need to use my back muscles and my core to lift myself off of her and okay, take the weight off of something else. If my weight's here, that's weight that's not where I wanted it to go, which was my hips, okay? Or if it's on my hands, it's on my knees, it doesn't matter. You gotta be able to take the weight off of all these other areas. So you can do that. You can visualize it one way or two ways. One way is to visualize pushing into her somewhere through the mat. You feel the pressure? Yeah. You feel it, Mr. Krabs? <laughs> Does it burn? Yeah. <laughs> Why does it burn? <laughs> it's fucking squeezed. What? I have to like, like, I just to like contract my back into the mat to create more space to make it more comfortable for myself. Okay. So she had to do some shit just to not die. That's actually how I want my side control to feel like. Okay. Now guys, this is just gravity pressure still. This is just me taking pressure off somewhere else. So that way most of it goes into a certain area. Right now it's in my hips. Now it's in my stomach. Now it's in my chest. You see, I lift my hips up, put my weight down there. And this is a drill you do. Practice moving around. No hands, no knees. You can push yourself around with your toes. Now I want in my hips. We're gonna Superman on this hoe. <laughs> <laughs> push the hips down, okay? Um, I wouldn't recommend taking your feet off the mat like this because what I do is I lose my ability to push in. So you can actually spread your feet out, especially when you want to target a hip, okay? If I want to push more power into my right hip or my left hip, I'm giving her a second to breathe, okay? So say I want to put it in my left hip. I will actually spread my legs out. That way I can kind of drive into this, okay? Push off my toes. And then when she pushes back into me, that makes it even easier because I have something to push into, all right? So that is about maximum gravity pressure, just knowing how to direct it around. Now, we're gonna get heavier, okay? Now, if you weigh under 160, this is really important for you, all right? You have to know how to make yourself feel heavier by not just putting maximum amount of gravity down, okay? You have to pull yourself down. So, if I get something like this under her, Okay, I'm just gonna two on one this underhook just so I can demonstrate maximum smash the girlfriend. Okay, not like that, you fucking weirdos. So, that's a different video. All right, I'm gonna take my weight off my hips. I'm sorry, off my toes. Okay, it's important that your body sinks up when you do this kind of stuff. Right now, my back is arched. Okay, it's connected all the way down to my toes. That, all those muscles are tight. It's the only way you can do this. If there's something is loose along the chain, so here, my knees are loose, my hips are loose, my back's not connected, there's not that much weight. Well, okay, there's a decent amount of weight, but not like this. Okay, you hear that little sound she just made? 
That's smashing a girlfriend, okay? Take a deep breath. Puff your ribs out, seriously, brace for impact. All right, now we're gonna get crazy heavy. So what you're gonna imagine doing is taking the, any, any attachment you have and visualize how it connects to where you wanna pull. If I wanna use this underhook to pull my right hip into place, this upward pressure has to turn into downward pressure somewhere, right? So it's not just all of my weight. This is all my weight. There's no weight on my hands. Now I get heavier. That is something you should be able to do nonstop. As in, you should be able to do this the entire time you hold side control. You notice that I'm talking. It's not strained. I'm not wasting my breath. I'm not getting out of breath. She's losing her breath. Okay, are you okay? Yeah, I'm just basically the balls of maneuvering this. You're what? The balls of maneuvering. Yeah. Okay. Now, if I had a secondary grip to pull at a different angle. <laughs> okay. You can add more pressure because you can direct it down at different angles. All right. Your ribs are going to be strong as fuck after this. Okay. So, it's not just knowing how to take weight off other stuff. That's part of it. Okay. It's knowing how to push something in. Okay, something that'll help. Okay, like I said, a little drill. Okay, if I need more pressure on my solar plexus, okay, I don't just lift my hips up. I actually curl my stomach in while I do it. So I can put more pressure down at the point of my solar plexus here. So this, this is maximum solar plexus right now without curling. Feel the difference? You should be able to move her. That drill right there, it doesn't look like much. It, to her, it feels like the end of the world. Right? And that's the point. I, I hate the term invisible jujitsu, but that really is what we're talking about. Just good pressure and body mechanics, okay? Now, you have to sync up all these muscle groups from your toes to your hips, all the way to your shoulders, and just everything. Everything has to work together to have real pressure from somewhere, okay? Here's another good example. Just sit up in me. Kimuras, okay? Most people, when they grab Kimuras, the first thing they do is they pull it into their chest if they know what they're doing a little bit, okay? You gotta think about sinking every muscle group all the way from your your hands, to your wrists, to your elbows, to your shoulders, then to your core. Everything has to sink back to your core for real power. So when I go to take this, okay? First thing I do is take my wrists and curl them down here, okay? That sinks that part up, okay? And what that does is puts a ton more pressure on her. Just a little, de little detail like this, all right? She starts to have a bad time immediately, okay? I've had people want to tap just from sitting in this, just from my wrist pressure, okay? Now, that's still... Did you just make that sound again? <laughs> okay, I'm not even putting any weight down now. Not now I don't trust when you make that no, sound to begin with, so... That's so much pressure on my forearm. I put it on so, so it doesn't hurt so much? I don't know where you can put it, but anyways, so I'm going to curl these up, okay? Now I'm going to actually push it away from me, not pull it into me, all right? For, so right now, you guys need to learn how to do stuff from a distance to put maximum pressure on this. Lock your shoulders up. Flex your core. Flex your back. You should be able to do this. And push yourself up off of this. Can you put this on the mat? Is this going to break you? No. Okay. So you should be able to be in side control. With a Kimura grip, take your weight off of everything else and hey, put your weight on her. Now switch that weight onto her, her forearm, essentially, onto her grip. Here. You should be able to do a push-up off your Kimura grip the whole time. You feel like you're getting out? And I didn't curl my wrists at all. So, I'm gonna curl the wrists. Oh my god, you're gonna die. Yeah. yeah okay. So get, <laughs> get solid for a second, okay? Curl. Now pick up, now my forearms are lined up. That is pressure. She is not getting out of this. And now do it from here, all right? Keep your chest on her, push down on the Kimura grip, move the Kimura. Do you feel like you're getting out? No. Now I can start to curl my wrist down and pull up on the shoulder. And I could tap her with just this pressure right now without even taking her arm behind her back. I could rotate my elbow down underneath her shoulder blade itself. Put that pressure down. Pull it in, put my weight on it, 
and then she's ready to tap. Okay. Now this is not me teaching you how to finish the Kamar from side control. This is me demonstrating how to take pressure to the end of range. Okay. And in a situation like that, I would put my weight on that Kamara. Because if I don't, she moves it. She turns into me. She fights. She tries to turn away. Okay. Before I get to my finishing position, if I just lock this up like this, the very first thing I would do is pick myself up based on my hand. Okay. Now when she tries to move or do anything like that, okay, I'm curling my wrists, squeezing my elbow all the way to my bicep. I'm curling my bicep in even. Now she's just not going to move. Now... I really could just do this to her and sit her up and tap her. And I've got so much weight and pressure everywhere, she can't really fight it, okay? And then of course, the more technical your setup is, the less you have to rely on good body mechanics. But if you add good body mechanics to those setups, you become, you know, black belt world champion. So learn how to use your body, learn how to apply pressure, and then Take that concept and apply it all across the board. Think about how muscle groups sync up and then smash the girlfriend on a different video. Okay, I think that's it for this video. It's a small video on pressure. Uh, what is it? It's pressure will see. <laughs> uh, there's gonna be, a, there's gonna be a, an aspect that comes out in smash mode. Okay, okay. now that I'm stronger than fuck, man. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay. And we'll talk about that later. But for now, this is Wiltsy and Girlfriend. You, you want us to do an outro? Mm -hmm. You want to tell them bye? Matane. Okay. All right, all right. I'm going to shut the camera off now. <laughs> bye. Have a great time.